Given a triangle with A equal to 16, angle A is 39 degrees and angle B is 28 degrees, what is the length of C? So I'm just going to draw a generic triangle and I know that my degrees might not be accurate, which is fine. Right now I just need to be able to kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for. It's not a right triangle because it doesn't specify that's a right triangle. And I'm going to say this is A, this is B, and this is C. Remember, it's not to scale. Side A is 16, so therefore this is 16. Angle A is 39 degrees. Angle B is 28 degrees. So therefore, since I know uh, a side in the opposite, so since I know this side, and it's opposite angle. Therefore, I can use the law of sines. But in this case, I need to be able to find this angle here so I can find letter C. That way I can use the law of sines. I know that all three angles equal to 180 degrees. So I'm gonna do 180 minus 39 minus 28, 113. Remember, my triangle is not to scale. Just because I didn't know what the angle is, it makes it a little challenging to draw it to scale before you know the information, which this is fine. And now I can use the law of sines. So C over the sine of 113 degrees is equal to 16 over the sine of 39 degrees. From here, I'm gonna go and cross multiply and then I'm going to divide. And I'm gonna do everything in one step. So C is equal to 16 multiplied by the sine of 113 degrees over the sine of 39 degrees. And we've done this so many times that you should be used to it. If not, just go through the process. C multiplied by the sine of 39, 16 multiplied by the sine of 113, and then divide. And I'm gonna type that into my calculator and that should give me my answer. So I'm using my iPad in here. So let me, I have my fraction, and most of the calculus also have the fraction bar as well. And the sine of 113, make sure that's on degrees. Close my parentheses. And the sine of 39. Which is 23.4. So therefore C is equal to 23.4 units. So therefore you answer is letter C.